hello guys and welcome to this tutorial i'm going to show you how to enable users to submit posts on your website or your blog okay using wordpress and elementor okay so basically um first off you need to go to the back end of your website and you need to search for a plugin so i'm just going to come to plugin and i'm going to click on add new and the name of the plugin is front end publishing okay so i should say front end and publishing so I'm here so yeah so front end publishing that's the name of the plugin so it should search for the plugin and this is the plugin front end publishing of course um you may just quickly notice that the plugin has been updated about one year ago and hasn't actually been tested with this version so to do to solve this problem what you need to do is to search for front end publishing pro okay so there is a pro version for this plugin and it's on code canyon okay so this pro version is what is currently being um, regularly updated by the developer of this plugin so you can go ahead and get this plugin for just 30 dollars okay so, but i'm going to show you how the plugin works using the free version so go ahead install this plugin and activate it so i already have it installed and activated on my computer or on my website okay so now what you need to do next is you need to create two pages okay so i'm going to come up to pages and i'll click on add new twice okay so this first page i'm going to say i'm going to name it add post so this page is going to serve as the page um, on which users can add a post to your website and this page is going to be um, I'll say edit post okay and I'll go ahead and save it as well so basically I have two pages that I created the first is add post and the second is edit post okay now let's go back to uh, back end of our website and you want to look for front end publishing on the left menu so this is front end publishing right here click on it and let's see the setup so first of um, the first setting is the title word count so min minimum of two and a maximum of 12 okay that's fine and then the content word count so in other words in the body of the post or the article how how many words do you want okay so a minimum of a hundred and a maximum of two thousand so basically you just need to go ahead and look at the settings and you know change it as you see fit so maximum number of links and body but um, maximum links in bio make featured image required and stuff so um, you can either check or uncheck this okay and then you know go ahead and scroll down and there are some other settings like um, instantly publish post by so um, for the purpose of this tutorial I'm just going to say instantly publish post by administrator okay so you can set yours to whatever um, user rule you would like so you can either set for author or something like that so I'm just going to leave it as administrator okay and you know let's see some of the other settings so disable author bio I set mine to check because I don't want them to you know enter their author bio so basically just go through the settings and make sure it is as you want and then go ahead and click on save changes okay so we have our changes set okay so what, what we do next is we can we need to get this short code into our um pages okay so this is the add post page so i'm just going to click on edit with elementor and first off i'm going to create a section and within this section i'm going to add a i'm going to add a a text a heading so i'm just going to add a heading and the name of this heading is just going to be add post okay i'll center the heading and change the color to see yeah just something simple 
and then next i'm going to add a divider okay something to divide the heading from the lower section so this is a divider um i'm going to make the width something small and i'll center it okay uh, i'll click on styles and reduce the gap between the um, heading and the divider okay next i'm going to change the color of the divider so i really don't want to waste time with this i'm just going to choose something yeah but also i'm going to increase the width of the header so i'll just increase it a bit so this looks okay but the space between the heading and the divider is still much so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this edit column and i'm going to reduce the widget space to zero okay so there is less space here so next i'm gonna update the page okay, to save my settings okay so next let's click on this guy here and let's get a short code so i'll grab this short code and just put it just under the section so it doesn't seem to be responding so i'll just drop it here and let's drag this guy upwards okay so we have a short code section now let's go to our um, front end posting settings and let's copy fep submission form so i'm going to copy this and i'll paste it within the short code okay? and then i would click on update okay so my settings has been updated now what i'm going to do next is i'm just going to hover my mouse on this section and I'll, I'll right click and i'll click on copy okay and i'll come to my other page edit post page okay so um i'm going to click on edit with elementor on our edit post page and remember we copied this section so i right click and i copy this section so copy now on the edit post page i'm going to right click on this area and click on paste so we have um, the section we copied from here we have it here so basically what i'll do now is i'm just going to edit the section so i'm going to say something like edit post okay and i'm going to change the short code so i'll come to our settings and get the pep article list so i'll copy this and i'll replace it with what we have here and i'll click on update okay so basically we have two pages the first is add post and the second is edit post um i can go ahead and close these pages because i won't be needing them anymore okay now what we do next is let's go ahead and test our pages so first off let me go to pages and the first is add post so i'm going to view the page and the last is edit post so i'll also view the page okay so we have two pages now on this add post page let's go ahead and test um our form so i'm just going to say test post okay and within the content i'm just going to add some dummy text so i'm just going to say i'm, I'm going to search for lauren ipson just to grab some dummy text so let's just grab some text here so let's grab some text okay. and let's paste it in remember we need about 100 words so that's i think that's fine and then for the category basically we have just one category so i'm going to leave it as uncategorized and for the tag i'll just say test post okay and for the featured image let's find something so i'm going to use something i already have on my featured image uh, let's see 
Oh, I want something long. Apparently, we have just one long image here. Um, so maybe I should just leave this blank. So I'm just gonna cancel this because I don't want to use one featured image for two posts, and I don't really have a, an image to use here. Okay, let me just check my desktop. So I would. Yeah, I think I downloaded. Okay, so I, I'm just gonna use this image. Okay, so fine. I'll use this image, and then I'll look. I'll click on choose image, and I'll click on submit. So as you can see, it says your article has been published successfully. Continue editing. Okay. Now what what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go to our edit post. Okay. So basically, we have just one post. I'm going to refresh this page, and as you can see, we have the second post, test post. Okay. Um, I'll refresh the home page and boom we have our test post um, on our home page okay so um, one more thing so basically from this your edit post page your users can actually edit and delete their post okay so if I click on edit it will show me a form okay so within this form I can actually edit my post and save the changes okay so basically that's how you um, add that's how you allow your users to add articles to um, your website okay um, yeah so it's, it's that simple go ahead and check out the paid version of front-end publishing plugin uh, the paid version actually has more features um, yeah so thank you so much for watching this tutorial um, if you're not subscribed to my channel uh, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button so that you can get notified when i create article um, tutorials see you in another one